This is another fine mess you've made here, I see. Mm -hmm. We have made a heck of a mess. Yeah, yeah. At the southern border of the Oak Island Swamp, Marty Lagina yeah. and Craig Tester join Rick Lagina and other members of the team to inspect the wooden structure that was just unearthed beneath the stone road. That's the edge. Really? You believe it ended right there? Yeah. There was two logs underneath the edge of the rope, but it looked really like they were fitted together, like you took one log and, and you, you know. Like if you were building a cabin, like that right. kind of, yeah. There was brush, just like under the construct itself, and smaller logs, so it's though to underpin the road. And then it stopped abruptly. Really? Yeah, yeah. Swamp muck mixed with bigger logs on the bottom that were running perpendicular to the road. Mm -hmm. But it was also well enough into the structure of the stones that you can say it was put down during the construction of the road. Yeah, I got it, yeah. OK. There's big timbers underneath the stone road, which just underscores that that was a massive undertaking. Somebody put that road in for a specific reason, and I think they wanted it to not be found after they were done. It could be leading us back to where the treasure is. And then just before we got to the end of the road here, I mean, we had pulled up some really, really nice artifacts, old-looking chains, some really I interesting chains. I haven't seen chains. this chain. I heard about this chain. Very unusual. This looks old. Two weeks ago, while excavating the southern edge of the potentially 500-year-old stone road, the Oak Island team uncovered a large hand-wrought chain and hook, which blacksmithing expert Carmen Legg dated to the 16th century. Is it possible that this artifact was once used in the swamp area to offload cargo from a ship onto Oak Island? The chain was a three-point hitch. And forged by the look of him. Yeah. Might have even been four-point hitch. Yeah. To me, you could stay there, a nice, stable surface, hook a box or something very heavy three-point yeah, hitch. and unload out here. Or right, load. because if you're pulling with a three-point hitch, you can pull it across this heavy ground and then get it to the bog and pull it right up that road. If you're trying to fit the chain to the road, to me, that's an explanation. It really is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it's a, an important discovery. We have clearly defined the extent of the construct of the road and where it transitions to the beach. Does it align with the idea that a, a larger ship offshore, a tender comes, brings the material to a crafted slipway or wharf or dock? Sure, it fits perfectly. I mean, it's very interesting, all the stuff you have found. Hopefully, it can tell part of the story. Hopefully, it ties together to give us a date. And hopefully, we find something even better yet. Yeah. What's next here? What are you going to do next? We're only beginning to get to that point. Oh, you're going to keep digging underneath where Billy is? Yeah. Yep. OK, well, the best dig is yet to come Yeah. this. Let's get it done. All right, here we go. I hope so this one, mate. All right, Gary. Come on. Yeah. Let's go find some treasure. Come on, where are you? Wow, there's nothing in here. This is quiet. What we got here? That looks like a bit of a barrel stave. Maybe. Similar to those yeah, barrel staves we found digging in the swamp there. Yeah. It looks like a barrel stave, Gary, because it's wider here than it is there. Yeah. I don't know what's going on here, probably where it ripped out. But yeah, I'd say that's a bit of a barrel. Yeah. Well, one thing for sure, we've got enough of those barrel staves that were recovered not too far away. We can compare it. Yeah, that's right. Well, we're trying to see whether the idea that this is an offloading area is correct or not. And a barrel certainly would fit with that. Yeah. That's how they transported stuff. A barrel stave found near the stone road or ship's wharf? Could Gary be correct that it might be related to the pieces of wooden cargo barrels that were unearthed in this area three years ago, and which Carmen Legg believed could be as much as 600 years old? Every time we dig in and around the swamp, we find some. The stone road, the paved area, the ramp. Lots of artifacts, so we're going to continue digging. 
We'll do a little analysis on that, but I'm wanting to find more stuff. Oh, yeah, some coins. Put it right over there. All right, Mike. Something in there for sure. No. What the hell's going on? It's catching on something. I wonder if it's wood or rocks. There's a boulder. I don't know if that means that's the end of the road. I don't know if we want to do a little shovel work to check that. That's up to you. Gary and I'll go have a look. Yeah. Go have a look, Gary. Let's go have a look. Check it out. Where's the boulder? To your left. Oh, right here. Yeah. And that's the first one. So what you're suggesting is there could be a row here? Well, it, it, if just from my angle, it, it could be in alignment with the stone road. Those are the first two big rocks. We'll have to dig a little further. So like the, you're thinking these are like retaining rocks? Yeah, it would only be the retaining edge, I would say, for sure. I don't think it's possible to, to stand and look at that stone road and not think that this had to have a special purpose. It's a rather massive construction and it had to be done for a reason. What was it for? I'm prepared to just see what the data suggests as we dig more. That could lead us directly to what we've been seeking for years. Well, what I would say, Billy, is just as you're going this way, look for others. Mm. Kind of scrape along. All right, I'm gonna go start that pump, Gary. Yep, I'll check the spoils. One thing that's really exciting about being in the swamp is that possibility that Billy sticks that bucket in, and next thing you know, you come up with some really great old artifacts. Oh, three interesting pieces of wood. Barrel staves. Got two strips, and then this looks like a handle. Yeah, that is. Rounded a edges. It's a peculiar piece of wood. Yeah. I wonder if it was like a like an old pickaxe handle. Could be, Gary. Or an axe. I mean, it almost looks hand-shaped. A hand-shaped tool? Could it have been used in the original construction of the stone road? If so, is it possible that scientific analysis might help identify not only its age, but also who brought it to Oak Island? Okay, let's get back to work. Yep. There's another rock there. There's more bigger rocks coming this way. In the line? Yeah. OK, Billy, we'll go have a look. Where was the original rock here? There, yeah. And then the one's buried, and then there's another one there. There's a pretty steady row, right? To, and then there's a flat one lower behind you, Gary. See the? There's one here, one there, one there. Yeah, but. What's that mean? Maybe some buried in between. I think there are clues in the swamp. Clearly, there are. I have been absolutely wrong about the extent of the workings in the swamp. I thought there was nothing there, and uh, there's a lot there. Some good stuff in there, I'm sure. Now, Marty was never a big fan of the swamp, but the more discoveries we have found in the swamp over the years, the more I see the twinkle in Marty's eye. I think he's beginning to like the swamp. You know, we may want to take that over a little bit. I don't know if that means that's the end of the road. You know, we thought it might have been the log, but the log was an edge. Well, let's see, you know, Rick's coming in a little bit. Let's see what he wants to do. I think we should have the rest of the guys look at it. This could be very important. Yeah. And then I'll kick it around with Rick and Craig, and we'll decide what to do. I'm telling you, mate, we are on to something here. Thank you.